Hi, I'm Mayor Greg Ballard. Sustainability means different things to different people. So let's start by framing the conversation. In my office, sustainability means using best practices to create lasting environmental, economic, and community impact for the city of Indianapolis. As a former Marine, I'm serious about leading by example. So as mayor of Indianapolis, that means the city is reducing the environmental footprint of its operations. We started right here in the heart of city operations, the city county building. The greening in the city county building effort really started with the uh, charrette that was held in June of 2009 with the Rocky Mountain Institute and several area leaders. From that uh, charrette, we moved ahead with the recommendation of hiring performance services to do a energy audit of this building. We wanted to first and foremost reduce energy use but do it uh, without sacrificing the building occupant comfort level. When we first started looking at this building during the energy audit, we recognized that this building is being operated uh, pretty efficiently compared to uh, other buildings. However, we wanted to get it to an Energy Star level, and through this project, we are going to get the Energy Star label. So how do you take a building that was designed and built 50 years ago and make it energy efficient? One of the unique improvements we made in the project was the installation of a geothermal unit in the basement. The building has always had an issue with high water table, and so they're constantly pumping groundwater away from the building. Well, there's a tremendous amount of energy in that groundwater, and so we're going to use the geothermal unit to extract that energy and help supplement the heating and cooling processes in the building. The overall project included several major uh, renovations for the HVAC systems of the city county building. There are central plant heat recovery systems, there are exhaust air energy recovery units, there's the conversion of heating and cooling systems from constant to variable flow, there's an expansion of the building automation system, and the installation of occupancy sensors to uh, several lighting systems. On the tower roof, we're installing solar thermal panels that will help supplement the heating of the domestic water on the upper floors of the tower. We are also implementing wind and solar powered LED lights out in the plaza, which will be completely off the grid. We'll be capturing all the benefits of that through a lobby dashboard, which will um, show the reductions in consumption as a result of this project. It'll also provide green tips um, for citizens in terms of what they can do at home. The project is a tremendous educational tool uh, for demonstrating what such state-of-the-art technologies can do for a building, even if that building is 50 years old. Definitely a unique part of this project was doing such an extensive renovation in an occupied facility. I think a lot of people are excited to know that they work in a building that is um, going through a lot of changes and improvements and upgrades to make it more sustainable um, and energy efficient. The project is a statement by the city regarding the priority which the city places on sustainability. As a result of implementing all of these improvements, we're going to see the electricity use in this building reduced by 39%, which is, is really incredible. Uh, steam use will be reduced by 93%. I think it's very important for the city to be green because it shows that we're not just talking the talk, but we're walking the walk. By greening the city county building, that proves that the city is committed to making the city more livable. The greening of the city county building incorporates numerous energy efficiency, water conservation, and renewable energy applications that reduce the city's environmental footprint and make it a model for sustainable engineering in Indianapolis. These energy savings are estimated to add up to $750,000 per year. I invite you to check out the city's sustainability report to learn more about what the city is doing to encourage sustainability and to also learn what you can do to make a difference. Thank you.